Hi, I'm Matt, also known as um, Spades, Spade49, or Moo Moo Takao. I'm going to show you how to calculate distance in Flash. As you might notice, I'm working in a very small field of view so that the users on YouTube and tutorial vid could see a little bit better because there's a maximum window size. Alright, so let's get started. We're just going to find um, the distance between a ball movie clip and our mouse and then have the um the alpha property which is transparency of the ball be dependent on um the distance between the ball movie clip and the mouse and the farther we get away the farther it's going to fade away uh fade away so we'll just create a ball convert it to a movie clip we'll call it ball make sure the registration point is in the middle, not on the ends or the corners. And now we go inside our library, go to our ball movie clip, and now convert that to another movie clip so we could give it um, movie clip actions that are inside instead of giving each instance on the stage, even though there's only one. But hypothetically, if we were going to use multiple ones, we could just make it totally self sufficient. So, ball in. And now we're still in our ball movie clip, and now this right here is the ball in movie clip. So we select that, press F9 to open up our actions. Let me just move this over so you can see. Alright, now I'm going to do our actions. Make sure it says actions movie clip, and you have the ball in selected. And now what you want to do is on clip event, enter frame, which pretty much then um, says to Flash that you want the fo the actions in the curly braces to happen um, at the specified frame rate. So right now it's 12 frames per second. So these actions will occur 12 times per second. So first we want to get our x and y distances from the ball. So we have distance x equals math dot round and this pretty much says to flash that everything inside these um, parentheses will be rounded to the nearest whole number. So we have we want to calculate the x distance between the x mount the um, x mouse property and the parent dot underscore x position. And what parent is, is pretty much um, the container that the movie clip is in. For example, these actions are applied to the ball in movie clip, but the ball in movie clip is inside the ball movie clip. So parent refers to the ball, and um, so it refers to the ball's um, instance, whether it be on a stage or in another movie clip. So now we do the same thing for Y. Now we want to find our distance, and to find that we do a we, we do what's called the Pythagorean theorem, which if you um take trigonometry um if you learn trigonometry, it's pretty much you have a right triangle. It's a terrible right triangle, but you have a right triangle, and you have side um A, B, and C, and then um the side of this side um the length of this side squared plus length of this side squared equals the length of side c squared it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared so now we're going to do that into flesh we already have our a we already have our a and our b which is the distance x and distance y and we'll go back to our ball movie clip open up our actions and now we have a new distance variable And this is math.round. 
the square root, SQRT, um, distance x times distance y plus distance y. Uh, whoops. I'll make sure distance um, x is times distance x. So it's squared. Now we have distance y times distance y. And we make sure we have our, all our closing parentheses correct. We have um, one for the math round. We have this and this. We have the square root. These. And we have um, the parentheses for the each individual um, x squared and the y squared. And now we have our distance, semicolon, and our statement. And now here's parent again, underscore alpha, which is its transparency level, equals 100, which is not see-through at all, minus distance divided by 2.5. You could change around the numbers a little bit and um, you'll see how it affects um, how far away you'd have to be to change the alpha property. Um, now we'll auto format it. No errors. So control enter, export, and you see we have a ball and the further um, our mouse gets away it starts to fade out. So, um, I hope you learned from this tutorial, and, um, good luck with Flash.